Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to get out and in glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone rule, where have been a great jump to the young brothers and the truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. <coughs> and Lord willing, this edifying. And this is um, on the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. You know, but. Before I go into it, it's, um, you know, just a quick topic on how these devils can, um, you know, say you got a bill, you got a light bill, a water bill, uh, or whatever kind of bill you got, and say you don't pay it, you know, because this has something to do with what happened with me, you know, the bill was paid, but... It's just the principle of the fact that they'll charge you <laughs> a reconnect fee. You know, the bill's paid, but they'll charge you a reconnect fee of fifty, a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty dollars, or however much they'll charge you for a reconnect fee. And, and all they do is turn knobs and flip switches, man. And just to reconnect it, they charge you an arm and a leg, man. But the reason it's getting disconnected, obviously, you don't got the money to pay for the shit, man. You know, if if that's the case, man, you know, if that's the case, you just ain't got the money. Say a person poor, they don't have the money to pay for it. You going to charge them an extra $100, $150, extra $50, and they ain't got the money to in the first place to pay it, man. You know, <laughs> and people want to stay here, man. This is oppressive as wicked kingdom, man, you know. But, hey, man, you, you people get what you deserve, man. But at the end of the day, this the end for, for Jacob, man, you know. This the end of our punishment. This the end of us having to go through all these different things. Because soon, hey, we ain't going to have none of this shit no ways, man. So, you know, we have it for now. You know, we have lights, water, you know, a roof up over our head, you know, a place of, of, of rest, refuge for the moment. You know, until all, all here actually break loose and the chip get mandatory, the vaccines get mandatory, then we're going to have to depend strictly on your how about you, your how it's happening. You know, we're going to have to all the way break away from this system. But the point of the, the lesson is, you know, uh, our, my water bill, you know, and um, it was paid, but on the internet, they just started doing something. You can pay it over the internet and you ain't got to go up there. But on their behalf, they messed up, but they cut it off anyway and tried to charge $50 to reconnect it and this and that. But since they messed up, they came and turned it back on for free. But they was going to, if you say you didn't pay it, you know, and, and you just ain't have the money, instead of you paying what you owed them, and they come turn the shit back on, say five, ten dollars, some measly, just gas, really, because it ain't like they doing work to turn it back on. Guess what? No, the the devil's so wicked, he charge you a whole extra fifty dollars just to come turn a knob, man, or flip a switch, man. You know, even even if it's your cable or internet, man. You know, they charge you an extra thirty dollars just to press a button and, and reconnect the shit, man. Uh, go in the computer and turn it back on, extra hundred dollars or some shit. This, this place is wicked as hell, man. You know? But, um, this, uh, verse 8, it say, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and better is the patient in the spirit than the proud of the spirit. You know, and this ain't meant to be nothing long. I'm just gonna run through these and close out. It's this Isaiah 10 and 1. It say, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Because all of these are unrighteous decrees, man. You know, for them to charge you. <laughs> say you ain't got it, man. Charge a poor person an extra hundred or fifty dollars. They already ain't got the money to pay the bill in the first place. But you steady taxing them more, man. You know, instead of just telling them, okay, when you we going to turn it off. And when you get half of it or your last month due, we going we gonna to turn it back on, you know. No, no, no. They want you to pay everything. They want you to pay the $50. And they want you to pay the reconnect fee. And they want you to 
clear your balance off, basically. You know? It say and right grievousness which which they have prescribed, man. But they said on it. <clears throat> it's Baruch chapter um, three and verse eight. It say, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou had where thou had scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments, man. Yeah, we still in captivity, man. What the scriptures say, if if a man be, if you steal a man and he be found in your hands, oh, I can't remember how it's quite quoted. If you steal a man and he be found in your hands, um, you shall surely be put to death, roughly paraphrasing, man. <laughs> and y'all stole us, man, from the west coast of Africa. Because people think just the slave trade was from the west coast of Africa. But no, man, they were taking... Israelites from Europe, the land, different Scot, Scotland and or Ireland and all those different places where Jake was, man, because Jake was in the um in in um Europe and all those different lands as well, man. They just wasn't in um uh, Israel and pushed out of Israel to the west coast of Africa. Then it wasn't no no man. Israelites was all over, man. You know, but they was just Hellenized and they was um. They was Hellenized. Basically, they was Gentiles scattered in those lands, man. This way, you get the Moors and 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 all that shit from, man. You know, cause after Rome fell, Jake came into power over Rome, became the Holy Roman Empire, man. And Jake ruled all of Europe, man, for that um time, man. That's why we know how we know King James was black, and it's proof that he was black, man. Going to the artifacts and things about the man, man. He was an Israelite, man. Pro probably from the tribe of Judah, man. You know, but it say we are yet this day. Behold, we are we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power, man. Because the scriptures say in um, Jeremiah seventeen and four. And five, it say we're going to discontinue from our heritage. And in verse five, roughly paraphrasing four, in verse five, it say, and if you depart from the most high, you're going to be cursed, man. And that's what our people did, man. Even us who in the truth and in the know now, man. You know? I mean, you got, because you got people who probably was born knowing they was Israelites now because the truth been going on for so long. But majority of the people who know they Israelites, they didn't know they was Israelites. We was all Gentiles, man. Carried away to these dumb idols, man. Worshiping Jesus and Allah and whatever else it is, man. You know? But let's keep going. It say, for a reproach and a curse and to be subject unto payments according to all their iniquity, iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power. It say here, Israel, the commandment of life, give ear to understand to understand wisdom. How happened it, it to Israel? How it happened it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land? And this ultimately is our enemy's land. This is Esau land. This is Esau, the heart of Esau kingdom. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy this place off the face of the earth. Not literally. But he gonna turn it to an un, uninhabitable un land, man. You know, and it's gonna be for the desert creatures, man. Big, de big, gigantic desert, man. You know, they say how happened it, um, how happened it, it Israel that thou art in thy enemy's land, that thou art waxen old in a strange country, that thou art defiled. With the dead, and and we are um in a strange country, cause what um the northern kingdom said they were gonna do going back to the um um damn what chapter second is it is I want to say thirteen and forty some somewhere up in there. He say we say let's go to a place where never man kind dwelt, man, so we can keep the laws of of the Lord, man. Based roughly paraphrasing where they came to Americas, man, North Central. In, in South America is where they where they came, man. You know, a strange land, man. But that's pretty much it on it. 
this Mal Micah chapter two and one it say, Woe to them that dis uh, devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light. They practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And yeah, Esau is wicked as hell for these unrighteous decrees. You know somebody ain't got no money, you know, and they bill get cut off, and you still charge them an extra fifty or uh, uh, so, man. <laughs> you know, then the person only making uh, the the average, say you, um, low income or something, man. The average person, man, ain't making nothing but ten, fifteen dollars an hour. So you'll have to work half a day just to get the extra fifty, man. <laughs> You know, so to speak, man. Just say you make ten dollars an hour or twelve dollars an hour. You have to work half four hours just to get that extra fifty. Then you gotta come up with a hundred and all that old shit, man. You know, then you might have to take out a payday loan or do this or do that. It's just <laughs> hey man, this is a rat race, man. You know, hey, that's why you should be repenting, you Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, and coming back to your how about show me how it's shot, man, so we can get the kingdom, man. This is this ain't it, man. This not living this uh uh oppressive system, man. This is a big prison, man. You know, the whole earth has become a a a, a huge prison, man. <laughs> you know, the only people that's living in this earth that we live in is the elites, man. You know, the top elites, man. Cause even these billionaires and millionaires, especially millionaires, these motherfuckers not living, man. You know, they always chasing after trying to get richer and richer, man. They never just chilling, man. Well, they living better than we is, but I'll go our people. They fucking slaves, man. They in hardcore bondage, basically, man. They got to do what these devils tell them and shit. Fuck all that, man. We got a kingdom coming, man. We ain't going to have to do all this, man. It say, and cover fields and take them by violence. That's verse 2. And houses and take them away so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Yeah, because they oppress you in your house and they stole our goddamn heritage, man. Charge you light bill, water bill, all these different bills, man. Water free, man. <laughs> you know, what you paying for light, it shouldn't be that goddamn. All this shit that you paying for, it shouldn't be that much, man. They putting fuck nigga fees on it, man, so to speak, man. You know. We're finna pay extra for this shit. You know? Oh. Um, this Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 33 it say, This said of Yahweh of hosts, the children of the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Oppressed together what? In Babylon the Great America, man. And all that took them captives held them fast and refused to let them go. Yeah. Um, cause we was here, we was, you know, took captive, brought over here to the Americas, but we was also sold into other lands, man. You know, these devils not going to give you reparations and give you a plot of land and put, put chains on their own neck to pay that. No, man, they ain't going to do that, man. Cause true reparations ultimately going to be them putting them chains on their neck and they'll never do that. They not finna give you everything that they think they work for, they family inheritance and shit. They not gonna do that, man. You know, that's why we need the Lord, man. What matter of fact is gonna go into it. Verse 34 say, therefore, I mean, there, Salakia 34, Jeremiah 50 and 34 say, their Redeemer is strong, Yahweh of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause. That he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon, man. Yeah, you people finna be worried, man. <laughs> you know, hey, and they worrying now, man. This place is disquieted now because I went into that word. It just mean, you know, brain worry, anxiety, a feeling of worry or unease, unease, a feeling of a feeling of anxiety or worry, man. <laughs> and Babylon is, is is feeling it, man. Feeling the brunt of that, man. And it's going to get worse, man. You know? But that's pretty much it, man. With that, Lord willing, we'll ever find. I want to get all and then glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, rule web, and the greatest up to the younger brothers. And the truth, peace, and blessing to the hopeful elect. Repent. Come back to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, so we can get that rest, man. 
the scriptures say a city is built where rest is allowed, man. <laughs> you know? And we building the, the, the kingdom right now, man. You can come rest in these scriptures, man. You can find ease, man. You know? For your soul in these scriptures, man. You ain't got to participate in the rat race no more when you come back to your house by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Because the scriptures tell you, man, it's an easy thing on a sudden for the Lord to make a poor man rich. So what the fuck is we chasing uh, uh, riches in this kingdom for? You know, to put it in a bag with holes in it. You, 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 here you is, you stacking up, but you putting your money into a bag with holes. So every time you walk or bounce wrong, your money falling out, man. <laughs> you know, but that's pretty much it, man. Shalom, call me out, Shalom, the bar, bar.